All right, so the next script I actually want to start working on is our score script. And, uh, well, we actually don't have that set up yet, but we have, um, if we go over to the game view, a rough approximation exactly how we want this to look. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a script for that. I'm going to come in, go under scripts, uh, create C sharp script, and of course I'm just going to name it score. Maybe. There we go. I'll open that up, mono develop. I'll go ahead and change the name to score. And I'm actually going to create a public uh, static variable here. It's going to be of type integer because I don't want to take any um, any uh, values after the decimal place. And actually, I'm just going to call it score. It has to be of type int though. And by default, I am going to start this off at zero. And actually, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of the start. And I'm actually going to get rid of the update. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a public static. And I want some function that just like adds score to it. So I'm just going to actually call this. Well, we need the return type, which will be void. And I'm going to call it add score. And all this does is take the value that's being passed in, which will be a type int. And I'm just going to call it, you know, value. I'll just call it value or val for value. And what I want to do is actually get the score uh, or the GUI text that to the component that we're attached to, uh, which will be right here. And I want to get its text property and adjust it accordingly. Now, I'm not going to bother with the formatting. Uh, I just want to adjust the actual value. So let's actually save this off. I'm going to come in and just drag our score on here. Now this is a GUI text. So I'm going to go ahead and go GUI uh, text. Uh, since this method is static, uh, we can't actually get access to the GUI text. Uh, so I'm going to actually do this a little bit different than I originally planned. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of this. I am going to leave this variable as static so I can access it outside of the, this script without the need to actually get a reference to this script. And what I'm actually going to do is just go into the update. And I'm just going to go ahead and update the GUI text that we have attached to this. And I want to update its text. Uh, to display the score. And we'll want to convert the score to an actual string value. And let me see here. We could, I would like to make another method that we actually could call to do this. Uh, just going through it real quick. Uh, let's just leave it like this for now. Uh, this should work. If we actually wanted to test this out, well, we'll start it up, it goes to zero. I'm actually going to open up the ball script. And every time it bounces, I'm just going to add 10 to the score. Just to test, just to make sure this is working. So we want to grab the score dot score. And I'm just going to actually uh, add 10 to it. And let's watch as the score goes up. So every time it bounces, you can see that it is adding 10 points to it. And this is the functionality we're going to want um, when we actually uh, collide with the, the blocks. So let's go ahead. We'll just stop that. We'll get rid of that line since it was for testing only. I'm also going to get rid of this debug line. And uh, that's, I think, think it for score to be honest uh, there'll probably be a little bit of cleanup here because I really don't want to have to have this in an update I don't really need to call it every frame I really only need to update the text uh, when the actual score itself changes uh, but we'll address that a little bit later on uh, yeah I guess that's it for score let's move on to uh, player lives next uh, which is pretty close to the same thing as this so I'll see you in the next video bye bye